So if you're in the market for solar panels and you want some help deciding which ones are going to be best for your home, then watching this video is going to tell you everything you need to know about the top five solar panels on the market in the UK today. Okay, so when you're buying a solar panel, there's lots of different things to consider about the suitability for the system on your home. Now, in this video, we're gonna cover stuff like the aesthetics of the actual panel, the dimensions of the panel, also the power output of the panel and the warranty. And we're also gonna take a consideration around which panels work best with what type of inverters, because not all panels are the same out of the box. Some are designed to work with something called DC systems, and some are designed to work with something called AC systems. Just before we dive into this top five panel review, I just wanted to give you some information about how panels come to their actual technical specifications. So everything is done on technically a level playing field because all panels are tested under STC. So this is standard test conditions. And this is where when a manufacturer makes a panel, it goes to a lab and it gets tested under some artificial light. Now this is done using a thousand watts of light per metered squared on a panel and that's what gives it its peak power so when you see a panel that's 400 watt what it means is if it had a thousand watts per meter placed on that panel it would be a 400 watt panel what it doesn't mean is that panel just going outside on any day is always going to be 400 watt and something else that they use to test these panels is when they do it the test conditions are at 25 degrees so when you see on the panel data sheet you may see degradation per Celsius and what this means is every degree above 25 degrees the panel will drop in performance and this is more prevalent on black panels so let's dive into this top five so kicking off with number five we've got the Qcell Qpeak duo black ml hyphen nine panel now if you watch my videos usually I'll remember all of these stats because this is my world and I live and breathe it but it's half seven in the morning there's so much information to read to you I'm gonna have to use this laptop to reference it so who are Qcell well Qcell are a German manufacturer they're a German designer but they make their panels in China like everyone else does in the world and they have something called the QP Duo range. Now this is an all black panel. I actually used to fit these panels on PV systems. I have a lot of experience with them. They're not the most powerful panel on the market. So this range, the all black range, starts around 345 watt and gets up to about 385 watt. And they're a pretty good looking panel. So when they're on the roof, they look nice and sleek. They're a nice low profile and it's an all black design. Now, the reason this panel is in number five is for a couple of reasons. One of them is that peak power isn't the highest on the market. Now, panels have moved on. The other reason is the warranty. So Qcell, although they're a great company, they only offer a 12 year product warranty on their panel. They offer a 25 year performance warranty but if that panel is broken in year 13, the performance warranty is basically useless. So just something to watch out for when you're having a solar system installed and someone's quoting you 25 year savings and they're gonna put a panel on your roof with a 12 year warranty, you might wanna consider 20, 25 year maintenance costs. Performance wise, this panel is just over 20%. So it's 20.6% in its efficiency and that's pretty standard for most panels. And again, going back to that STC test um, scenario, the panel performs at 0.25% drop at every degree over 25 degrees. And again, this is pretty standard. And finally, from a price perspective, you can buy these panels for about 150 to about 250 pounds, depending on whether you're paying the VAT or not right now in the UK if you have a solar install you don't pay that with installs in number four we've got the LG Neon R so LG Electronics obviously a massive brand that you'll all be familiar with and they do make solar panels now there's some rumors that LG are going to be dropping production soon because they're not that price competitive in market but you can still buy the Neon R panel 
And this panel is available in 350 watt variants and right up to 440 watt. So it's can, you've got a nice broad range of panel choice. And price wise, they're coming in around 300 pound a panel. So they are more expensive than the Q cell, but you're gonna be backed by LG. And they're gonna give you a 25 year product and performance warranty. And another consideration with warranties is who is backing the warranty. If you're gonna buy a generic Chinese panel that comes with a 10, a 20, or a 30 year warranty, you need to know who is the manufacturer standing behind it and is it insurance back? Because if that manufacturer changes, closes down, you might have theoretically a 15 year warranty, but good luck trying to claim on it. Now, also the difference with the LG panels is they're a little bit taller. So panels generally come in pretty standard sizes. This is an REA Fusion 2. This is about 1,760 millimeters tall. I think it's 1,132 millimeters wide and about 30 millimeters deep. And that's pretty much the standard size for all panels. But these LG Neons are, eight, sorry, Neos rather, sorry, are 1,880 millimeters tall. So they're gonna be a taller panel Panel. So if you're stacking them in portrait, one above the other, you need to make sure they're gonna fit on your roof. Now, now although this panel is a little bit taller, it is also a little bit slimmer. So if again, if you've got the space to stack them in portrait and you're limited by the width of your roof, maybe these panels will fit. And in third place, we've got the Jinko Solar Tiger Neo panel, and it's the N-type version. So Jinko are a big manufacturer in solar. Generally, if you're gonna get quoted for a solar system, you're probably gonna see one of these panels on the quote, because lots of installers use them. They may not use the N-type version though. We're gonna come back to that in a minute. Now, power range wise, you can get them between 400 and 440 watts. So again, you've got a nice spread of power choice. And the efficiency is starting to climb now. So this panel, our uh, number five position, the Q cell was 20.6% efficient. This is now getting up to 22% efficient. So climbing there, warranty still 25 years. And I would say that Jinko are a pretty solid company. So you've got a good chance of them being around in that time if you do need to claim on it. Degradation per degree Celsius is 0.29, so a little bit higher than another panel, and that's because it's an all black design, so they perform a little bit less. And price-wise, you're looking between 250 and about 300 pounds, depending on where you buy it from. Now, earlier on, I mentioned about N-type technology, and what does this mean? Well, this is when I was mentioning earlier, earlier on, around matching panels to inverter. So N-type technology means it activates at low light so as I previously mentioned if you take a panel outside that's 420 watt it doesn't mean it's going to immediately turn on and produce 420 it needs the right conditions what n-type panels do is they have a very low operating window so they can turn on at low light applications so if you live in the UK maybe an n-type panel would be more suitable for you and if you're gonna go for an n-type panel then personally I would only ever pair it with a micro inverter and that's because micro inverters can activate at very low volts or wattages whereas a string inverter or a hybrid inverter that needs lots of power to turn on so you're not really going to make use of the n-type technology okay so we're climbing and now we're in number two so we're nearly at the absolute pinnacle of solar panels but who's got the number two spot well it is the sun power maxion 3 the so sun power are a massive brand in the market they generally focus around ac systems so again using micro inverters in in fact, you can actually buy some SunPower Maxion panels that come with a microinverter bonded to the panel from factory. They're called ACMs, so AC modules, and they're definitely a very premium product. Now, power range, this product comes 370 to 400 watts, so it's not the most powerful panel on the market because it's not really designed to be a very peaky output panel. It's designed to sort of work in the mid-range of solar performance. Efficiency, we're climbing again. We're at 22.6% efficiency. And where Maxion make a real standing market is they've got a 40-year product warranty. So 
if you were going to have a panel on your roof for 40 years, they would warrant it. My argument to that would be beyond sort of 25, 30 years, you're probably going to change your system. What is solar panel technology going to look like in 20 years time compared to today? Just look at your phone, look at 10 years and how they've advanced and there's rapid advancement going on in this market too. They've got a 0.27 heat resistance, again, above the 25 degree standard ST conditions. It's not really that relevant, to be honest, unless you live in a really hot climate. Price point, quite an expensive panel. So you could expect to pay sort of up to about £400 for one of these panels. Now, why isn't this panel in position one? Well, there's two reasons. One of them is the intersections on the panel. This isn't one of them panels, by the way, but this looks like one of them. The intersections are actually white, so aesthetically they don't look great. And obviously the only other consideration is the max power is 400 watts. So if you do get a nice sunny day, you're going to be losing some of that available power by fitting something like the Sun Power Maxio. And here we are, we have arrived at the number one solar panel according to Heatable. Now this is going to be the REA Fusion 2 bifacial panel and this is one of those panels here. Now looking at it aesthetically, you might think you don't like the white intersections on this panel, but do not be fooled. This panel is bifacial, so I don't know if you can see that there, but when it's on the roof it goes all black, but it has some special technology behind this panel and that's bifacial technology. So you've got receptors on the front, but you've also got receptors on the back and these clear glass intersections here, they allow light through and that's what gets this panel the extra performance. Now power range wise for this panel you can buy this between 400 watt and up to 480 watt however the panels this one here is a 420 this is our standard panel that we sell when you go for the 480 watt version it does grow in dimensions you need to be mindful of can you fit that on your roof. Efficiency wise, we're up to 24% efficient. So this is about 1.4% more than the SunPower Maxium. Warranty, 25 years on product and 25 years on performance. But crucially, this is an Australian company. So again, claiming on that warranty should be pretty straightforward. And if that company wasn't there, then it's actually insurance backed by Munich RE. So they're the biggest renewables insurer in the world. German insurance company, they will stand for 25 years behind this panel. Price range, they're not the cheapest product on the market. They're about 350 to 450 pound, but you do get that back in the efficiency of this panel. This is again an N-type technology. It's been designed for low light applications. So if you're in the UK, this is gonna be the best panel you can get your hands on. If you're in another environment, so if you're watching this video and you live in the States or you live in Spain or you live in South Africa, you probably don't wanna consider this panel because if you get lots of sun all the time, you're gonna miss some of the efficiency window. And this panel has been designed to work with an AC micro inverter. So if you're gonna fit this panel with a string system or a hybrid system, you're not gonna unlock all of that performance. It needs to go out with a micro inverter. Personally for me, any solar system sold anywhere in the world, and especially in the UK, should only be going out with micro inverters. It's a much safer solution than having high voltage DC systems on your roof. So we hope that was a useful video in giving you an overview of the top five solar panels as rated by Heatable. Now, if you've got any comments, you disagree, or you want to recommend another panel to be reviewed by Heatable, then leave a comment below in this video. And if you're in the market for solar and you want to find out how much it's going to cost to get one of these REA Fusion 2s installed on your roof with a microinverter, then you can go to heatable.co.uk and we'll give you a quote online and we don't need to send a salesperson around your home, you can use our online interactive tool. It's free to use and it's dead easy to do.